You got some very, very good news delivered in a very matter-of-fact way. Most right. recent diagnosis. Right. Um, well, I was out to uh, see a movie with my roommate, and I got a call from my dad saying that he wanted to know if the rebate check from Apple was to him <laughs> or to me. Um, and then I said it was mine. Uh, <laughs> I can't keep my money. Um, but then, you know, he said, oh, yeah, we met with Dr. Staden today, too. I was like, okay, well, what did Dr. Staden say? Um, and he goes, well, he looked at your MRIs, and he said he's... Uh, you know, about 99% sure um, that the cancer is completely gone. We, we call that burying the lead. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's tremendous. That's wonderful. You can see what that means to the folks here. Hey, you folks. Dad was kind of a low key guy, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very. Well, talk about Mark. Your road back. I, I saw the look in your eye when you're watching those highlights of, of yourself making plays in the football field. What lies ahead? Because there's still some tough steps to take to get back out there for the Eagles next season. Right. There, um, there's three chemo sessions left um, over the next five weeks. After that's completed, um, we'll wait a couple weeks, and then they're going to insert a rod through the center of the femur. Um, that will really balance out the damage done from the radiation and the tumor itself. Get that leg strength back, get back out yeah. there. Get the leg strength back, start running again, and, uh, you know, get back out on the field. Now, many, pe you know, many people have given you words of encouragement. Is there any one message in particular that stands out? There, there, there's been tons of people, you know, who have been coming out of the woodworks. Um, you know, you just saw Sister Barbara Ann has been, has been mm -hmm. great. Um, one thing that's very uh, recent in my memory is uh, two nights ago, I got a call from Teddy Bruschi, who um, had his own battle. He's a great linebacker. He had his battle with his stroke. And then coming back, one, one message he said to me was, really be proud of being a survivor. Um, he's proud of, of what he's been able to accomplish, um, the people he's been able to help. And, and being a survivor is, is, a, crew, is a group um, that's very special and that you know, there's a lot of responsibility that comes with that to help others um, and, and to continue to strive to, to fight. 